but Alex down. Pop up power bomb through the table. Not gonna lie to you. Seeing Kevin Owens get some revenge on Roman Reigns felt pretty good. Felt pretty good. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I finally had a chance to take some time out today to check Roman Reigns, the Adam Pearce situation, the Paul Heyman situation, and the Kevin Owens situation. There was a whole bunch of situations that happened on uh, Friday Night Smackdown. Um, so, I definitely uh, finally got a chance to check those clips out. I'm going to kind of work my way through them and give my thoughts and opinions. I, I do like the opening segment. Basically, Roman is basically just talking his shit. Basically saying, yo, look. You know, I, I know you used to be a wrestler and all this other stuff, and you you basically baited and switched yourself out for Kevin Owens for this match at, at the Royal Rumble because you claimed you was hurt, you're injured, your body is sore. But I never made excuses while I was wrestling and you know while I've you know while I've been wrestling here. I've been at the top of the of the food chain i'm at the top of my game there's many nights you know what i'm saying i'm sore and, and and i'm in pain but i still fight because that's who i am you know just pleading his case and then you know of course paul Heyman is laughing right next to roman so basically adam pierce is like yo bro i may take the bs from you but i sure ain't gonna take it to take it from uh paul Heyman. so he's talking down to paul Heyman like paul Heyman's a little bitch and it was so funny this segment paul Heyman was like yo who you who you who you think i am i grew up with this man's family like don't get it twisted you you disrespect me by default you're disrespecting him and his family like i'm from new york and we can get busy with his son i was expecting him to start you know switching it on like we can we can get this we can get this cracking son but it was funny seeing paul Heyman like really talk his shit so they have the match set up adam pierce versus paul Heyman. you know it wasn't gonna end like that but you know they they're, they're building that storyline so kevin owens actually and i like these type of promos he is like a, a video like office it's like an iPhone type recording. Like he basically was recording a promo in his vehicle. And I love these type of personal promos because they give realism. I think WWE needs to start doing more promos like that. Kind of like what NXT was doing with the Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa feud. If y'all remember that, they were taking their promo segments on the Twitter. That is perfect because it gives it realism. We live in this day and age where everybody's on their phone. So it wouldn't make sense for a wrestler to not talk, talk trash or plead his case through his phone. You know what I'm saying? Just giving a nice quick promo. So he gave a promo in the car with like this phone cam type setup. And it was very emotional, actually very powerful. He was given the meanings of his tattoos on his on, on his knuckles and why he has them. And that's why he's like, yo, Roman, you thought this was it? I'm never going to stop fighting. My my grand uh, grandparents, you know, saying they were ill. They weren't able to see me finally make it to WWE. But even though they were ill, they still kept fighting to the very end. You know what I'm saying? And it was, bro, it just made Kevin Owens the ultimate baby face, bro. Right now, I'm going to be honest with you. Daniel Bryan will still and forever be, as long as he's in the WWE, the top mega baby face. Because it's Daniel Bryan. But I would have to plead my case. Even though I like Drew McIntyre as a baby face, I think Kevin Owens is num is like easily the number two baby face in the company right now. I'm being so serious. And that's because of his feud with Roman Reigns, bro. He is easily number two baby face in the company right now on the main roster comment down below let me know if you agree with that but this segment alone it was personal it was real i love it bro these are how promos should be personal and real you 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 believe that kevin owens is going to do what he can he's not going to ever stop fighting and he's going to overcome the odds and i like the fact that he made a point you didn't win those matches against me 
your family did. And if you remember those matches, you know what I'm saying, Kevin Owens was fighting. Roman Reigns really couldn't get rid of Kevin Owens unless he had to cheat or Jay Uso got involved. So I really love they're building him as the ultimate babyface. I love it. I love it. I love it. So the match is about to begin between Adam Pierce, Paul Heyman. Adam Pierce takes off his shirt. You know, he's ready to go. You got Paul Heyman come out there, same suit, everything. He just put tape on his wrist and, and knuckles. I'm like, all right, you know this is not happening. So they cut away to Adam Pierce in the arena, and they cut right back to Paul Heyman going up the steps, and he slipped and hurt his ankle, bro. I'm like, wait, what? So that's how he, they got him out the match. And, of course, his replacement is none other than Roman Reigns because ultimately – the plan was Roman Reigns wants to beat the hell out of Adam Pearce for setting up this match between him and Kevin Owens. So, the match ensues, you know, Adam Pearce is getting his ass whooped because it wouldn't make sense for Adam Pearce, someone that hasn't wrestled in many, many years, to be whooping the, the top heel, the top wrestler in WWE. It should be nothing but a glorified, not even a glorified squash match, it's just a squash match. No offense should be really handed by Adam Pierce. So they're fighting all over the place. They get to the little, the area where um, they have the, the, the screens for the crowd, the fans. And then all of a sudden, Kevin Owens comes out there with the hoodie, starts attacking them. They're brawling. I'm loving this at this point. He hits them with a nice stunner, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. At first, I wasn't really comfortable with Kevin Owens using the stunner, but... As it's progressed, I'm okay with it. I actually, if there's anybody that can effectively use the stunner and you believe in them using that stunner and it feels right and they give off the badass vibes, it's none other than KO. So he hits the stunner. Roman Reigns is selling it. Now, it's funny how when Kevin Owens is out there attacking people, all these referees come out of nowhere. But when Kevin Owens was getting attacked by Jay and Roman Reigns weeks ago, where were these same referees? It was only like one referee out there trying to stop it. But now they got 20 of them. Okay. So at this point, they're brawling outside the ring area. This was a nice spot. It was not even a spot. It was just a nice, like how they set it up. Kevin Owens hits the stunner again on the outside, causes Roman Reigns to whiplash into the, the barricade. So he hits the stunner, Roman Reigns hits, hits the barricade, he falls down. He's KO's talking trash to, to Paul. What you got to say now? And my favorite part, of course, at the beginning of, I put it at the beginning of the video, the power bomb through the table, putting Roman Reigns on his back, man. And it was a nice visual very nice visual kevin owens got some type of payback he pretty much put down the tribal chief for now it was great i love the segment man like i said i say it every time you're probably like you only check out the roman reigns stuff because that's the only thing i watch <laughs> i know for whatever reason now randy orton has a luchador mask because he got burnt in the face by alexa bliss do i care no I did see the little segment he had with Triple H. Triple H came back. He had his little segment with him. Uh, it was cool. It's, it's it's like a nostalgia trip. It was cool for what it was. Um, but other than that, I haven't really been checking out Raw. Probably won't be checking out much of Raw. So unless y'all tell me there's something that needs to be checked out, I still don't want to see this Goldberg and um, and Drew McIntyre match because I think that is pure garbage at its finest. But hey, it is what it is. But right now. This is hyping up even more for their match at the Royal Rumble. So comment down below. Are you guys as excited as I am for Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens? It's like, I'm more excited for this than the actual Royal Rumble match. Only because I think the Royal Rumble match only really works if you have a crowd. Since there's not going to be a crowd, it doesn't hit the same. Every Royal Rumble match hit so much differently because there's a crowd there. Since there's, I'm not, I don't think there's going to be a crowd there this year. I know they, I, I think they plan on having a crowd at WrestleMania this year, which is awesome. But at the Royal Rumble, I don't think it's happening. So it's not going to hit the same. It's just going to be 30 plus men and you just hearing all bunch, bunch of, oh, oh, and all the sound effects and all this other stuff. But I don't, I don't know if it's, 
is really going to hit as well. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys are still as excited for this match as I am. Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens, I'm calling it going to be match of the night. It's a last man standing match. It's hard to mess that up, but I do believe it is going to be the match of the night night so comment down below let me know but i appreciate all the love and support road to 40k appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i'll see y'all in the next one peace